Hi, I'm Kristen Burt for Red Carpet Report. Tonight we're at the Ace Eddie Awards honoring the best in editing for 2016. Congratulations, what a big week, not only for tonight, but the Oscar nomination. What has this whirlwind been like all week? Uh, it's pretty mind-blowing, really, because this is not our world. I mean, we are animators. We work in, you know, in a dark little hole for years at a time making these movies. And so to have something like this to be recognized on this level, it's bizarre, but it's really it's heartwarming on some level because you know we want to connect with people. That's what our films are about: are reaching people, connecting with them, inspiring people. And when the film does that, it really it means the world to us. How about for you? How has it been? Pretty much the same. I mean, we're slaving away in the woods. You know, uh, the whole experience of coming to LA and the, and the bright lights and stuff is it's very surreal, uh, considering that we're off tucked away in the, in the dark all the time. <laughs> we make you come out and wear tuxedos and things like that. Yeah. yeah very awkward. Hello, world. <laughs> yeah, no, we don't get out much. It's true. <laughs> well, I want to know, because you are one of the front runners in your category. You're up against big studios. Do you love that you're like the film that could? I love it. To me, it's, a, it's like we embody... It goes all the way back to my high school days of being really into punk rock and the whole DIY thing. One of the things I love about our studio is that it's a, it, we do it all ourselves. It's a totally self-contained thing, and we're kind of off on our own, the dark horse, chugging away. It, to me, it's like we're sort of the punk rock studio of animation. I don't know. That, that's my thing, but uh, it's great. It's, it's great to be recognized, even though we're sort of working on the outside like that. Yeah, I mean, what he said, I mean, we are a small independent animation house. We're based up in Portland, Oregon, so to be able to go you know, be on the same stage and seeing creatively as some of the finest filmmakers working in this medium along with, you know, the Goliaths of the industry, it's, uh, it's, it's pretty great. One final question for you guys. What was the biggest challenge working on this film? Well, for me, I mean, every time you make a movie like this is a challenge. We make essentially the movie from scratch. You start with an idea and we're creating entire worlds, characters. Everything you see is essentially made by hand. So there's always the executional problem of like, how are we going to make this thing come to life? But for me, the biggest challenge always in making these films is trying to communicate heart and humanity at the core of it, to make something that moves people, that connects with people. That's always the biggest challenge, and the thing I'm most proud of in this film is the beating heart, the fact that people see this film, they're moved by it, they connect with it, and, uh, and that's what it's all about for us as filmmakers. And then how about for you, what were the biggest challenges on the film? I think the, 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 probably the toughest thing is it, asking children to confront the mortality of their parents is a, is a pretty big ask. So to get the tone right for that and to, to sort of walk that tightrope where you can coax them to come along and, and be willing to confront really difficult feelings but make it okay and let them know that it, you know they're, they're going to survive it. Is, it was really tough. You could stray one side and it becomes maudlin, you go the other way and it becomes a horror film. So it, it's, a, it's a really fine line to walk and uh, I think we got it, but uh, it, it took a lot of experimenting. Yeah, very delicate tone. Well, congratulations to both of you. My money's on you to win the Oscar. I'm just throwing it out there to the universe for you. Um, but it's a wonderful film, and I'm so proud to see you guys here. Thank, Thank you. you appreciate much. that. Thank, Thank you. you. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel, like this video, and in the comments below, let us know what your favorite movie of 2016 was.